Greetings on an absolutely gorgeous day in southern Idaho. That's Boise off in the distance. Our destination is that what appears to be a bush right in the middle of the screen, but really what that is is a pretty good sized tree that I figure is just over a thousand meters away. The geofence on the quad is set at a thousand meters. We're going to do that with the Blade 350 QX3. It has 9 by 4.7 ABS props. It's connected through the TS840 Esheen 600 milliwatt transmitter, circular antenna, Fat Shark interference reduction. The FPV cam is actually mounted inside of a piece of spongy pipe insulation. And that actually seems to work pretty well and it's velcroed onto the quad. And then just for fun, we have the Marco Polo locator in case when it's very far away. It falls from the sky, which has happened to me once, and I don't like hunting for hours. So, there it is. That's the Marco Polo receiver uh, locator, which I keep on during the flight. Then we have the RC840 Esheen receiver, custom mounted to the door of my Jeep. Apologize for the focus and circular antenna. No, it's a custom custom mount, which is all powered by 11.1 volt 3C 3300 milliamp uh, battery, which is way overkill, by the way. But I have one. Um, Easy Cap viewer connects everything inside this highly custom, incredible custom build sunshade. And inside is the MacBook Pro 17 inch screen. It's actually kind of blurry in flight when I have it maximized like this. So usually I cut it down to about half this size because the resolution is so much better. Also, everything's being flown by the Spectrum DX6 radio, which is awesome. So in flight, this, is what I see. I'm using the EasyCap viewer software and you can record your flight as it occurs. All right, the video is recording. The quad is bound. We are in AP mode. So let's take off and see what we can see.